going on YouTube? It is your boy Voodoo here, and I'm going to be showing off the Fatebringer 2.0. Now, let's go ahead and just bring up the Fatebringer so you can take a look at it. And we'll go ahead and bring up the Imago Loop, the Fatebringer 2.0. Now, these are strike-specific weapons or a raid-specific weapon in the Fatebringer's case. They drop from specific areas. Now, this one that we want to get now drops from the Undying Mind. And you really do have to play it a lot on the heroic setting, and you want to keep continuously farm it, continuously farm it. I cannot confirm nor deny that you can just go into the, the heroic modifier of it, of the actual strike to get these drops, but I wouldn't doubt it because it is not an activity completion reward. That being said, I would take the time to look a little further into it and maybe, you know, try it if you have the time. But keep in mind that it is like a 0.7% chance that you're going to get Outlaw with Firefly. It is also a 0.1% chance to get Outlaw, Firefly, and Will of Light. Which would be amazing. However, not likely. But, the gun is amazing. Uh, regardless, Firefly obviously makes it even more amazing. I was able to get it with Feather Mag and underdog so it reloads when enemies are in proximity as well as already reloading fairly quick which is pretty much amazing about as close as you're going to get to the fate bringer minus the you know arc ability but hey uh i'm pretty happy with it um <clears throat> unhappy that i tanked my 307 on something i can't remember what i what i sunk that into but i tanked my 307 yesterday i think i did it for the uh you know what, I did it so that I could get the Ace of Spades, which is actually a pretty awesome hand cannon as well. Hunter exclusive, though. But, hey, it's pretty cool. But, guys, you really got to do these strikes a lot. And um, one of the things that I did notice, particularly, is in variants of the strikes, you will get named additional creatures. Like, instead of it just being a normal yellow, it'll be like Brachus Tharaun or something like that. Or putridus, whatever witch flying around. It's you know it depends on what type of strike you're in, and what type of variant you get. But they're just normal yellow mobs, basically. They're named, and I really do feel as though every time I've seen one, somebody has gotten a decent piece of gear at the end boss. So is that the key? I don't know, but I will always kill those just in case because why else would there be a named mob in there if it isn't some type of activation? But in any event, Guardians, keep at it and keep pushing forward into the light and shoving it down Oryx's throat because that's what that dark bastard deserves. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's get it on. Like, comment, and subscribe, my friends.
The Black Garden remains here among the light. But the Vex will never cease until their darkness is restored, and we must keep it here until we can understand its origins. 